And now for something completely different. I'm here in a small town in northern Utah called Spanish Fork. Down the street is a chapel they filmed Footloose in. Over here is a rodeo arena and there's a little building right here. It's kind of a warehouse where they do the Utah Rock and Gem Society show. So it's like a gem show and a buddy of mine is part of the gem society and he's here. So we're gonna take a look at some rocks and gems, some things that are a little unique unique to this state. Utah is famous for dinosaur bones. They have stuff like that. Of course, gems of all kinds, rocks. You can find a lot of it right here at this show. We're just gonna take a little stroll and see what we can see. See if there's anything interesting. There always is. And pardon me, it's the Timpanogos Gem and Mineral Society. That's the correct and official name. And did I mention it's free admission? So these are called Orthoceros. They're kind of like a squid. So you can see kind of all around. I'll flip this up here. You can see like back here, there's a lot of different fossils as well. But these are the ones they decided to polish. Buddy Rich has a display here of topaz, garnets, and amethyst, and, and all things found here in the state of Utah. It's just one of those interesting hobbies where you can find things that come from this earth and almost anywhere. And when it's polished up or put in some jewelry, it really is pretty interesting and pretty itself.
just never ending. I mean, so many things. You never thought you'd want until you actually see it and how cool it looks. And you're just kind of like, I sort of want one of every one of them. <laughs> They're so fun to look at. I didn't realize it, but they actually do have kryptonite here. Sorry, Superman, you better stay away. my friend Rich. He's part of this gem and mineral society and he's polishing stones here at this booth. So kids come up, they can sit and he'll polish one side of the stone that they've bought from here somewhere and he'll polish one side of it. So it goes all the way up to like 2,000 grit diamond wheels that polish cool rocks. the guys here. That's right. This is Rich Chait. Ow. He was polishing some stones over there. He's gonna show us around, show us some uh, stones here. I think that's real stuff. I think it is, yeah, for sure. Leopard skin? Cool. It is orange calcite from Mexico. Are you gonna eat that? And I am. Delicious. Yeah, that's awesome. This is amber with insects in it. Ancient. Seven bucks. Shungite. $3. Emotional. Reduces stress and insomnia, physical allergies, skin disease, arthritis, hair, and skin re rejuvenation, asthma, and arthritis. Pancreas. Shield from electromagnetic emissions, computers, microwaves, cell phones, Wi Fi, purifying water. Well, I think you've sold me Shungite from Russia. I'm going to get one of these. Should I do it? 12 bucks. Why not? Wow, Mosasaur tooth in the matrix. I guess that's how you say it, but that's pretty cool to see some ancient history, you know, come back to life, so to speak. You can imagine, like, what is a Mosasaur? We'll have to look that up. Maybe I'll post a picture. But I remember looking for shark teeth and they were itsy bitsy little things. Look how big that is. I just imagine this ancient life and, and what what they went through, what they did, and they were here and they were really on this earth. Amazing rock, Labradorite. Dang. Gets its name from Labrador, Canada. Cool. Where it's found. Nice. Only 18 bucks and you get some super old trilobites and these suckers are big. Mainly found in Morocco, right? Is that what you're saying? Morocco, probably from Morocco for these big ones. But they are also here in Utah. Crazy, what is that? Uh, it's, <laughs> I guess that. <laughs> I think it's a selenite that has a different refractory. That's pretty sweet. And it sends it, yeah, it's really cool. You find these naturally like that? That's so weird. I mean, how do you find skulls so naturally formed? Maybe there's a whole race of uh, little tiny people that just uh, had gem skulls. I'm gonna make a prophecy and guess you guys will never figure out the name of this stone. <laughs> anyway.
So Rich here got this Labradorite. He got a rock. Something like this. It was all rough. And what'd you do, Rich? You, you took it and you started polishing it with that wheel. And you polished it up something fierce. It's getting a good color on it. It's hard to catch it. Pretty cool. Lots of things to buy. It's a natural thing. These are lab-grown bismuth. Really cool shapes. Pretty intricate and awesome. Of course, they're colored because of the, ox the oxidation. Something just caught my eye. Look at this guy. He's like a little prospector. Just taking a look at his find. I don't know why, but I kind of like that. There's also one here. Do I like the blue? Maybe I like the blue color. It's only five bucks. I kind of like it. Dave got a cool rock. It's like a Monument Valley. You got the monument, you got the galaxy in the background. So cool. Hey, how about some petrified dinosaur poop? Bolo ties. One thing I enjoy wearing on Thanksgiving for some reason is our bolo ties. Probably because it's a tradition of my grandparents to wear bolo ties and these are, these are pretty ones. Hope you had as much fun as I did here at the Rock and Gem Show. I got myself a little prospector. I thought it was cool because I want to do some prospecting and it was only five bucks and I got a good piece of uh, agate there and some iron pyrite, fool's gold. I thought it was funny and I got myself this bracelet. Maybe I'll feel rejuvenated and healing. And of course the sun's coming out so I'm gonna feel rejuvenated and healing and, and uh, look at these guys. Thanks, uh, thanks guys for hanging out and thanks Rich for being part of the society to uh, make us a little more interested in stuff like this. Yeah. So be excellent to each other and ta-ta for, for now. now. <laughs>